making his way to the ring from Gun Barrel City, Texas, the Western Roughneck, Jesse James. Oh my God, the camera is a tall drink of Texas water who is so familiar with this territory. I'm very excited to see this match. You know what, Austin? I am too. I think he's got a very uh, unorthodox opponent. So I'm excited to see how this is going to play out. And his opponent. Yeah! Hailing from wherever he wakes up. The drunken master. Do you think the drunken master might have gotten into some of your champagne? You know what? I don't know what he's got, but I, whatever he's got, I hope I get some of this after this show because he looks like the kind of guy I need at one of my parties. To say, if there's any left in that canteen after this match, we'll have to see. I know a few things about being a drunken master. I have mastered many things while being drunk. And if I know one thing about Guy Santos, he has got plenty more where that came from. I saw the, I mean, the color of the liquid that came out was definitely red. So, I mean, you know you one thing I know about Guy Sanzalus, one thing I know about the Drunken Master, if you go into a bar with him and there is a shortage of a deep burgundy red wine, there is going to be trouble. You're going to have to call your insurance company. That is going to be a problem. All right, well, the bell sounding in this matchup. We are going to see how the Drunken Master fares against the Western Roughneck. You know, I love the confidence of a Drunken Master. I mean, that's... When you go, I have taken many challenges, many dares, while having a little bit of the bubbly under the nose. And, boy, you got to have serious cojones to go into a ring with somebody like Jesse James being the Drunken Master. I mean, maybe that liquid courage is exactly what's going to do it for Gaius Tantalus in this match. Right, but let's, let's, let's not forget Jesse James, tall drink of water from Texas. He is one half of True Grit, and he knows exactly how to throw him down with the best one. I may have shared a few tequila shots with Mr. Uh, Jesse James. Well, that's fantastic, but Halston, we're seeing, I mean, the Drunken Master still has his wits about him for the most part. He still has these these instincts as a fighter, as a really strong lockup in the center of the ring. And that may be to his advantage, because somebody like Jesse James is used to a, a straightforward opponent, a brutal and a very, you know, aggressive Whoa. opponent. And the Drunken oh. Master is going to give him a little weak even a little wobble. Wait, I'm not sure if he's used to that kind of feeling. God, the drunken master looks like he's going to give him a five-finger death punch. Jeez. Rolls him through. Oh, and a drop down from the drunken master. Oh, tripping up Jesse James. You know, and Jesse James is once again a big, tall slab of fiction meat. That is a hard person to just get down that easily. Ah, he's wrestling Jesse James like an alligator. Rolling him around, rolling him through. That strong floor work from the guy of Santalus. You know, and, oh, and not to know Jesse James' is solo style, but he's used to being in a tag team with uh, Haas in True Grit. But here's the deal. This is, this is, where, this is where somebody like Jesse James has to shine on his own. Absolutely. Jesse James using the uh, veteran instincts, the ropes, is advantage to break up that oh, maneuver from the drunken master. Oh, that, that's a dangerous place to punch. You never know what's going to come out of that belly. It's true, and you've been, been drinking for a while. See what oh, I mean? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I've been oh, in these situations, Kathy. It's not a good place to be. We're not ready to see anybody looching in this match. All right, Jesse James rearing up, catches himself in the corner, and a big splash from Gaius Santalus. Oh! Tripped up by the drunken master and hooks the leg. Two count for guys. Those are the types of games that the stronger people like to play. To, like sober people. I mean, it's it's almost like a, a, a reverse a role reversal right now. Jesse James is looking a little drunk out there, and the drunken master clearly being in control right now. I mean, you said it before. We'll say it again. I mean.
mean, Jesse James really proved himself as a singles competitor outside of True Grit. He definitely oh, has the cunning. He's got the maybe the sneakier right. behavior. Oh, yeah. Listen, he definitely has height and strength to his advantage, especially in solo composition. But they put him quite well against some of that drunken master. Large and in charge, or maybe he's not in charge. Oh. <laughs> The bag of drunken master. Keeping him away from his, <laughs> dare I say, his poison. Oh, on the corner. Oh, Double exhale from the top from Jesse James. Oh, and a big old DDT. Jesse's going to go for the cover. One, two. Oh, drunken master able to power out. I feel like. I feel like Drunken Master's in one of those oh. positions that I've been in on a Friday night. Oh, have you ever been, have we've been both in there all right, Have you ever been to those parties where you've had plenty to drink? Oh, I have to pause right there. That was a 6.0 on the chest quake system. What was that? Oh, my God. You can clap that on the Richter scale. I think, I think wine just came out of his pores. I feel like chest hair came off of me. I'm, I'm 10 feet away. All right. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah. Drunken Master is issuing some uppercuts, and it looks oh, like he's... Oh, oh, dear. Oh, oh, my gosh! Belly belly oh, suplex oh, from the as, Drunken Master! As I was saying earlier, Drunken Master is acting like that friend that you've had at a party on a Friday night. You give them drinks, they're invincible. They want they want more, and you're Take telling them, no, here. you don't want any more of that. You can't, you can't play with Drunken Master. Here. Look, okay, Take he's going drink. for his Take canteen. His friends, are, power his friends are really way more encouraging than I am. My goodness. There we go. Just to wet the whistle a little bit. Right. I feel like I feel like I need to top off too. Oh, uh-oh. Oh. No alcohol abuse in this ring, if you ask me. He's gotta keep that thing. Tip top. Uh-oh. Naya Santalas catches the leg. Trips up Jesse James. That is some serious drunken confidence if you are in mid drink oh, oh, and are still taking on your opponents. Looks like Drunken Mass is just gonna chill for a second. Maybe recline a little bit with the Listen, help of Jesse James. I've been tipsy and I've used uh -oh. anything as furniture before. I get this move. Oh, uh oh. Oh, is he wasting? The source of his power, no! What is this? I didn't do it. It's that man! Oh my god! I mean, if he needs more, I have extra champagne, but I don't know if that's going to help him right now. That's not where we need to be. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Jesse James is really... Oh, right oh, into god, the huge trap. Oh. You can't drink with a master! Oh my god. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, a huge, huge splash! One, two! Oh. I feel like the drunken master is turned from that fun party drunk into that angry drunk. You're not sure if you want at the party, and you might need to call the cops. I mean, that's, that's me on tequila. Oh my god! So, like, let's just no, I'm writing it down right now. Take a note. Take Kathy, a note. Kathy on tequila yeah, keep equals drunken from master. Oh my god! So, goodness. I mean, drunken master is just oh, getting his head rocked by Jesse James. Oh, a huge boot. Jesse using the ropes for momentum, but guys is able to dodge the clothesline. And oh, can Jesse power out of this hold? Oh, he's clobbering the back of the neck of Drunken Master. All right, and I feel like Jesse's been in these types before. He's been in drunken bar fights before. But you know, he's Texas. used to having backup, so I mean, it's, it's really interesting to see how he's gonna fare on his own. Oh, oh, oh. And he's gonna fare just fine with a cover. One, two, three! Oh my God, that was it! I believe he brought his back up in the form of me. Unbelievably powerful clothesline from Jesse James, taking out the Dragon Master. And your winner, Jesse James. Austin, I mean, Jesse James is certainly proving himself as a, I mean, a, a, a pretty solid singles competitor. Right, he doesn't necessarily need a partner. He just needs his right arm and his left arm. And clearly, Dragon Master, feeling the fact this close to the ring, but that one went through me. That's how strong that clothesline was. What do you think that clocked on the Richter scale? Woo! Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up online because I know California bye, records bye, those things. Bye. Wait a minute. Are we at, oh, Drunken Master back to his feet. Okay. That's, in its oh, 
himself that is a victory. Yeah. We're going to do shots do together? Is this, yeah. what are we doing here? Nice show of hey. sportsmanship right. between these two competitors. Friends at the bar sportsmanship. once again. Help each Jesse, other to the bar. Jesse, They'll be all Jesse, set. Jesse, 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 Jesse. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh. Hey, come on, partner. You're a sweaty man. The bar's oh, this yeah. way. The bar's this way. Hey, Greg, you're here. Oh, my God. Yeah. 